the center of the multiverse. It will belong to Brainiac. I do not plan an invasion, rather an assimilation. I have identified key junctions in Earth's vast nexus of knowledge. These I will capture and digitize first. Of course, some non-essential information may be captured as well. This will be sorted and purged once the digitizing is complete. Earth's resistance does not concern me. There is no intellect strong enough, or power brutal enough to resist me. Soon this planet and all it contains will be mine. Intriguing. There is an anomaly in Earth's atmosphere. Beginning analysis. These exobytes are my own technology, each one holding unknown stores of digitized power from Earth's future. My harvester ships will simply reclaim the data provided by these exobytes and seal Earth's fate. This is a new obstacle. These humans resist my assimilation. My conversion units cannot hold them. Let the humans use their powers. In the end, they too will belong to Brainiac. Our every tactic failed. Brainiac came to Earth to destroy it. And he was winning. Then, a dying version of Earth's greatest villain brought us a weapon from the future, stolen from Brainiac himself. New heroes to withstand Brainiac. new villains to exploit the madness. I will train these heroes to fight the sick chaos of the Joker and the evils that face us all. I am Batman, and the battle has only begun. Life, an interesting concept yet ultimately flawed. As is this insignificant speck, useful only as the key to unlocking the multiverse itself. I have harvested entire galaxies for their data, leaving nothing behind. Let their champions attempt to defeat me. Let them swell their ranks with powers stolen from their own future's defeat. They will ultimately fail. I am Brainiac, and the Earth will be mine. Humanity's evolution was a mistake. My own was destiny. I will reclaim this Earth from all who stand in my way. Surrender a world that by rights belongs to me. I, who can control even the strongest minds and channel primal rage. Never! I will alter the flow of evolution and remake the world in my own likeness. Life is survival of the fittest. And Grodd will not just survive, he will triumph! Power. If you got it, flaunt it. Cause sometimes it just feels good to hit something. Especially when it comes to Luther and his new generation of villains. 
think you've won. Think again. You have more than just me or my cousin to worry about. It's all of us. So bring it. There's nothing we love more than a good fight. The only thing to fear is no longer the only thing to fear. Now, instead of a handful of heroes, there are hundreds, thousands. Do they think the Scarecrow is no longer in danger? The fools. This is my home. And with all that I've learned and set into motion, they will soon realize the only thing to fear is me! <laughs> it's good to be home. City preys on the innocent. I know. That's why I fight. Why the hunted is now the huntress. Batman and his crowd think I play a little rough. I think I don't play rough enough. Mobsters like the Falcones, crime lords like Penguin, psychopaths like the Joker, they redefine street crime. And now, with all this new muscle, it doesn't take the world's greatest detective to figure out this isn't just a battle, it's a war. Long ago sold my soul for occult knowledge. Now demons themselves dance at my command. But one bit of knowledge eludes me. The flame of life. That electric bolt that creates something from nothing. And this I will possess. I will possess the collective soul of mankind and turn the flesh of all living things to my will. As a lord of order, I have walked countless worlds witnessing the birth and death of a million civilizations. And in the course of the eternal battle I have learned it is the fate of some to destroy, and of others to defend. Sometimes fate decrees that worlds live, and sometimes that their ends be bleak and tragic. I am Dr. Fate, and I stand at the threshold between light and dark. Now, as the scales tip from order to chaos and back again, I too must ask. What fate awaits us now? Traitor! Thief! Abomination! You are no true ape! The human shall fall, and all will feel Grodd's rage! My devolution technology will unleash primal savagery on this earth under my control alone. Mankind's rule is over. And as the age of the apes begins, Grodd will reclaim what is his, and the world will feel his wrath!
from many, one. One mind, one goal, one queen. So they think they are mighty. They think their swarm rivals mine. Soon all of their thoughts will be for me alone. All minds will be one mind. Mine! Brainiac has promised this. Brainiac, I obey. The hive mind has one mind. One queen. And now, a king. Sometimes I wonder why I stay in this stinking, polluted city. The Falcones, Bane, Two-Face, Mad Hatter, that hush freak, Killer Croc, Catwoman, not to mention the Joker. There's too much competition. But I'm a businessman, and I smell opportunity. So when this little gang war blows the lid off Gotham, Penguin's gonna have a nice little umbrella. For when it starts raining blood. Like a raven, I am an omen of darkness. Through me, Brother Blood has unleashed a dark and brutal evil onto this plane. I can no longer deny my fear that nothing, not even the Titans or our allies, can stop the Demon Trigon from rising. He is an evil that has destroyed 10,000 worlds, and we are next. For this monster Trigon is my father. The Exobite. A weapon from Earth's inevitable future defeat at my hands. A marvel of technology, able to drain and digitize any information capable of holding almost infinite amounts of power. The Exobites are the key to the future. For they hold the power I drain from stolen from me. I am Brainiac. The Exobites are mine. And soon, all of Earth will be as well. Wanna see the world through my eyes? It's easy. Just picture everything you want and can't have, and multiply that ten thousand times. Everyone laughing at you, pushing you aside, unless you take the power for yourself and make them give you what you want. Luther knows, soon they'll all know, and when I get what I want, I'll be the only one laughing. They call him the Joker. But my pudding is no joke. He has a dream of a world where everybody is always laughing. A whole world just busting fit to explode. <laughs> Kaboom! I'm crazy. But aren't we all a little crazy? In love. I hate liars. Anyone who cheats, or steals, or tries to push other people around 
or make you do what they want just because they're stronger. But I especially hate when they try to make the whole world like they are, using their lies to make people into slaves. That's when I have to get all Amazon on their ass. Hey, it's true that might doesn't make right, but sometimes it sure helps. My Kryptonian heritage gives me incredible powers under this yellow sun. But to Lex Luthor, I am the alien. A threat to his human DNA. To all the new villains seeking to rule this planet. Lex's genius is his superpower. But he is deformed by jealousy. He will always hate me for what I am. For taking his rightful place. Because I am the one that Earth calls Superman. Superman? He's not even human. An alien like Brainiac. Call him our planet's champion? Ha! It wasn't Superman who brought the Exobites back through time and created a new army. It was me, my future self. Let Superman pretend he knows what's best for humanity. I will prove, now and forever, he's not our planet's savior. I am. The future belongs to Lex Luthor. I am Batman. I will not rest until justice is served. Until the innocent are protected. But good and evil, innocence and guilt, don't matter to the Joker. Only breaking others' minds to follow his own shattered logic. I don't know if there's any cure for his diseased mind. He is my greatest enemy. He represents everything I have sworn to defeat. defeat him, or die trying. Let me tell you a story. A bat saves a scorpion from drowning in a river, but as the bat carries him out of the churning, deadly water, the scorpion stings the bat. In terrible agony, the bat asked, why? I tried to save you, now we'll both die. And the scorpion says, that's the point, sucker. <laughs> Oh, I love that story. Cracks me up every time. I was created by the gods to be a champion of peace. I know the Olympian gods well. All their strengths and gifts. And flaws. Circe is a weak and jealous goddess. To worship her is to worship betrayal. To love her guarantees your own destruction. To her, love is taken by force, not given from the heart. It is a tyranny of lies. I pity her. For I know peace and love. And she never will. I 
am the goddess, Circe, a divinity with a divine right to rule this world. Yet, this mere princess dares to defy me. Call yourself a warrior for peace, sister. Know that peace only comes from the natural order, and that is magic over mortal. Choose magic and rule. Choose the mortals and die with them. They say I'm insane. They sabotage my work, deny my genius. They're all jealous. Yes, jealous of my massive intellect, my immense ability and technological prowess. But they'll all bow to me in the end. I. T.O. Morrow will create life. I know it can be done. I've learned from my failures, and now I'm so close to the life of the future. The life of tomorrow. My babies, you love me, don't you? You'd do anything for me, and I would do anything for you. I'd give you the whole world, if I could. But some people don't understand. Some people are jealous. Some people want to kill my babies, destroy them, make them wither and die. But don't worry, my darlings. Those killers will pay for their crimes. I promise you, Poison Ivy will be back. And I won't be alone. Faster than lightning. That's me. Fastest man alive. I'm always on the go. And I wouldn't want it any other way. Move fast. Think fast. And these days, there's a serious need for speed. <laughs> so when some super genius claims they're gonna slow me down or stop me in my tracks. I say, bring it! Cause to me, they're just standing still. Greed. Envy. Lust. My sin is pride. It was a gift from my father, the demon Trigon. I have fought this evil all my life. I found a new family, the Titans, and more. They stand with me against Trigon and his cult of blood, for brother blood will never rest with Trigon's energy on this plane. Trigon will rise, and just as surely we will be there to meet him. Man, 
But I much prefer being Etrigan. For Etrigan cares not for good or evil. He does what he would. And now Etrigan is unleashed on Earth. You fear Brainiac? I am worse. Bloodhaven was my city. I grew up in the shadow of the Bat, as Robin. And Gotham belongs to Batman. So when I became Nightwing, Bloodhaven became my home. I know what it's like to need to make your mark. To live up to an ideal. And now... To have that destroyed... But making your mark isn't always about winning. Sometimes it's about losing. Losing badly. And then... Getting right back up again! Riddles. Enigmas wrapped in conundrums. And with Morrow gambling with the Joker, all bets are off. Because what kind of hand do a Joker and an Ace make? A dead man's hand. Or try this one. The man who makes it doesn't want it. The man who wants it doesn't use it. The man who uses it will never know he has it. Give up. A coffin. Riddle me this. Can anyone win this war? My Nora. Frozen like my heart. All I do is for you alone. To bring you back. To give you the world you deserve. Nothing. No one will stand in the way of that. No hero. No villain. I will do this for you. I promise you. Soon. Everyone will know how cold hell can be. of a Green Lantern, the most powerful weapon in the universe. It creates hard light constructs out of sheer willpower. The only way to break it is to shatter our will. Sinestro uses fear, a coward's weapon. So whoever messes with us, listen up. The name is John Stewart, and all who worship evil's might beware our power. Green Lantern's Light! I was the greatest of the Green Lanterns. I brought law and order in the universe. Forcing my will upon the light, I brought a new dawn to the Lantern Corps. When I was banished. I found willpower is easily broken. By fear. Fear is strong. You think you are fearless. That I am so easily defeated. Let those who try to stop what's right burn like my power. Sinestro's might. The planet Earth. Home. Some may call me an alien, but although I was born on Krypton, this planet is my own. A 
place I will defend against any threat, as will my allies, Wonder Woman, Hawkman, Martian Manhunter, and many more. Because for me, Earth's people are my family. And my powers give me a responsibility to help and protect them, even though I cannot always be there. Because this is, and always will be, home. I am Arthur, King of the Seven Seas. Ruler of the vast ocean empire of Atlantis. But I am a king in exile, abandoned by my queen, rejected by my people for an alliance with the surface world. I will heal that breach and forge a peace between the land and the sea. No matter my joy or my despair, that is my destiny. For beneath the waves, I am king, but on land, They call me Aquaman. Blood. Mine. Yours. It all belongs to Trigon. Do you feel his wrath? His devouring lust for power? He will rise. The skies will burn. Our cities crumble. Society will turn to dust, and I, Brother Blood, will rise with him. The sins themselves will serve me. Wrath, lust, greed, envy, and pride. Pride herself will be my wife. Her powers will be mine. And my every desire will be fulfilled. I am an evil man. My rage has leveled cities, devastated friend and foe alike. But when Isis came into my life, everything changed. She was goodness, love, hope. She made Kandak blue. Until she was taken from me. Now, I defy death itself to keep her from me. May the gods have mercy on anyone who stands in my way. For Black Adam will see them burn! Power to fight for love, hope, kindness, for the good in mankind. That's what I do. I'm Captain Marvel. I believe in doing what's right, helping other people, just trying to do the best you can. I know Black Adam was a champion of Shazam before me. Maybe, someday, he can be one again. Because no matter how dark it gets, I always have hope. I am the Spectre, the instrument of divine vengeance. For evil must be punished. And yet, without mercy, there is no redemption. And without humanity, no justice. 
Thus I must have a human link. Without this guide, I am lost. In shadow, eclipsed. My enemies fear my power, and know this is my only weakness. But in it, there is also strength. For vengeance is eternal, and it must be served. on Oa, creators of the Green Lantern Corps, fully understand its magic. But there is no doubt. It is a weapon against evil, against fear, against tyranny and destruction. For I truly believe no one is beyond redemption. That is why I will always fight, why I am and will always be a Green Lantern. I have assimilated millions of civilizations for their knowledge. Planets like Krypton, an advanced society, rich in data. Once the samples are taken, of course, there is no further need for what remains. It is expendable. Inevitably, the same fate awaits the planet, Earth, a primitive little orb. And yet, the Earth continues to defy me. Heroes and villains alike stand against me. Its champions smash my minions and crush my allies. This is a little concern. But now it ends. For now I, in turn, will take their own deadliest technology and use it against them. For no technology can withstand Brainiac. I am Superman. I was born on the planet Krypton and sent here to Earth to save my life. I use my powers to protect this planet and all who live here. To challenge selfishness, cruelty, greed. To share my gift and my burden with others who choose this fight. It's good to know that I do not stand alone. For every villain, there is a hero. That every man can choose to be a Superman. I am Lex Luthor. No one gave me my powers. I came up from nothing to challenge even the most powerful interlopers on this planet. Then, to my will. Everything I have, I earned. Everything I am, I made. And now, I am joined by the most powerful villains on this planet or beyond. Others who see that opportunity is what you make it. Welcome, and watch your back. Gotham City. My city. Full of corruption and vice, cruelty and evil. A place of darkness crying out for a dark night to save the innocent and strike fear into the hearts of criminals. This is why I prowl the night. Why I became... Batman. And now, an army joins me in the shadows, each dedicated to my cause. To making evil fear the night. Criminals, consider yourself warned and be afraid. I love pain. I love. 
love suffering. I love dead puppies and killing jokes, crippled cops and great, big, giant explosions. I love twisting the bat up so tight you can <laughs> hear his spine scream deep down inside. And now I have so many more delightful villains to play with. Why, I might not even kill some of you. <laughs> I love being the Joker. <laughs> I am called Wonder Woman. I am a princess of Themyscira, my island home. A warrior for peace. A champion of the gods. And now, one of an army. Each soldier dedicated to ending tyranny and bringing freedom and peace to this world. I am honored to fight beside them and call them friends. War brings out the best and worst in us all. Here is to our victory, and to truth and freedom for all. Magic holds all the secrets of the universe. It is the power of gods. With it, you can control the very mysteries of life. Bend all lesser beings to your will. Take their worship and absolute obedience as your divine right. It is your destiny. I am the goddess Circe. And now, at last, I am joined by powerful allies who know that the gods exist for a single reason. To rule. I have traveled the universe in many forms. I have collected entire worlds, preserving their knowledge within me forever. Some attempt to resist this gift of immortality. Few succeed. But these victories are temporary. The destruction of a solitary construct is inconsequential, for I am not a physical being. I am intellect. I am pure thought. And when I transform the universe into my image, all will be one with Brainiac. There is no reality without thought. Thought itself creates reality. Thought building on thought to create a nexus of knowledge that runs throughout the multiverse. Technology has such a nexus here on Earth. Its master calls it the Bat Cave. Assimilate it, and I take the first step in controlling reality. One by one, I will absorb Earth's network of technology, magic, and meta powers. Then, I shall be the universe, and all will be Brainiac. Feet, I become stronger. Those opposing me reveal themselves. With each battle, my knowledge grows. In time, I will know their thoughts before they do. Thought, the most powerful force in the multiverse. Stronger than steel, faster than light. It cannot be outmaneuvered or driven away by madness. It is my weapon, and I 
will use it to conquer each nexus of knowledge. It is inevitable, for time is on my side.